inside. Good! And it looks like the starting five, the same starting five we've been seeing all season long for the Lady Panthers. The sophomore, Kirsten Padilla. The uh, junior, Jada Lopez. The two seniors, Emily Sines and Brie Benya, who's in the middle right now. And of course, the other junior wearing number five, we got Elia Cantu. Those are the starting five for the Lady Panthers. Here we go, the area round matchup between West Laco High School and United South at Roma High School, Benya. Howling the ball right now. Now to Lopez, the junior, near midcourt, closely guarded here. The Lady Panthers from Laredo. Laredo South uh, starting with a man defense here, something that the Lady Panthers are pretty good at attacking. Lopez to Pena. Pena now taking her time, trying to set up a play here. She brings it out. And she'll work to the right-hand side with it now. Padilla, Padilla to the right. Now to the left, Lopez. Top of the arc is still looking, still very patient here are the Lady Panthers. Lopez gonna drive, cut off, and now Padilla, still out on the right-hand side, working the wing. Now the baseline, double team, gets it to Cantu. Cantu can't find anybody, trying to find the open man. Sides wide open for three, off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound, Cantu, she puts it up, and Callan is good. Absolutely. Aliyah Cantu starts off the game with a two-pointer off of the rebound, 2-0. Westlaco, turnover, Padilla with the ball, they try to go inside. And with it now, Brie Pena working on the other side of the court. She'll go left-hand side, foul off the glass, no good. No foul called, actually. Ball goes out of bounds, and it'll remain Lady Panthers basketball. Brie Pena losing her footing there, tried that jumper, thought she got fouled, and uh, fortunately, though, it remains Lady Panther basketball. A lot of energy in this game to start it off with the crowd on hand, making some noise. Pena inside the key, we'll pull it up. A little too strong, right back to her, back outside. Lopez to Sainz, Sainz fakes the three from the right wing. Air ball, no good. Benya with another rebound, and that one won't go. And here we go in the other direction. United South working with the ball, wearing black jerseys with blue trim. Lady Panthers going with their man defense, Carlos. They played a lot of zone against PSJ Memorial, so it looks like they're switching back to their man-to-man -man because of perhaps the lack of size that uh, United South has. They match pretty well against each other. 6-15 in the first quarter, shot put up, rebound signs, and a foul by United South. And it looks like this one's gonna go. Still trying to get the call here. Yep, and it's gonna go against Lily Hernandez, her first foul of the game. Coach Fino is hoping that the Lady Panthers could get off to a little bit better start, Carlos. It took uh, about halfway of the first quarter for them to get going. Emily Sainz was key. Let's see, Aliyah Cantu made the first basket. Let's see if the other players can step up. 2-0 Lady Panthers from Westlaco. They're both Lady Panthers, so we'll be referencing the high schools a lot in this game. Here we go, shot, three-pointer. Pena puts it up, no good. Cantu battling underneath there. Knocked out of bounds by United South. It'll be the girls in white with the basketball. I really like the hustle, Carlos, uh, that the Lady Panthers, our Lady Panthers, are showing up to this point. Elia Cantu all over the place with the boards. And even Kirsten Padilla there helping out with some of the rebounds. Lopez to Padilla, thinks about the three, goes to the left-hand side, feeds it inside, stolen. United South now with the ball, working the other direction, handling the rock here. Galindo, Stephanie, top of the arc, still with it. They want to call a double dribble, nothing called on that play. And a turnover. And right now, the Lady Panthers with two turnovers in control of this game, but only up 2-0. Perhaps they got away with a double dribble there, but it all evens out at the end as the ball went off uh, the player's foot there. Lady Panther basketball. Lopez, the junior, handling the rock. Peña, Peña on the right-hand side. She's double teamed here now, trying to find the open man. It's Padilla in the corner, shooting that one. Lopez, no good. And Aliyah with her third rebound of the game, blocked as she was taking it up, stolen away by her, and they're gonna call a foul right here. Look, that's gonna be on a Cantu here. Her first foul of the game, first one also for the Lady Panthers. She was just trying to create a turnover there and maybe start a fast break going the other way, but uh, it's only the first team foul. But I really like the energy, Carlos. And what I also like is that West Lico is not hesitating shooting the basketball. There was some hesitation in the by district game. We're at the five minute mark here. 
in the first quarter from Roma High School. Lady Panthers on top from West Laco High School, 2-0 over the Lady Panthers from United South. With it, back outside. Now driving inside from inside the arc, no good. Inside the key shot, a little while they're off the glass, and here we go, Bri Pena pushing it up the court. Padilla in the corner, shoots the three-pointer, and air ball no good, rebound by United South. And South will work in the other direction after the shot was no good by Kirsten Padilla. And now they're coming out here, good defense here by Jada Lopez on uh, Stephanie Galindo. Inside, left-hand shot and good count if they find the open man, Evelyn Cruz. Evelyn Cruz only had five points in last year's game, and let's give credit to the young guard there with a good look inside. We're all tied at two here, the crowd from United South. Screams defense, here's Pena, left-hand side. She'll shoot it just inside the three-point line. Countered, it's good for Bree Pena. If you remember, Carlos, last season, Bree Pena had a monster game here in the regional quarterfinal against uh, Laredo United, I believe. So she loves this court right here. Four to two. Westlaco with the lead. Now handling it, Galindo gives it up. They'll work to the top here to Cruz. Cruz and Hernandez now with it. Nearly stolen, and it is. Jeta Lopez out ahead. Jeta Lopez gonna take this one all the way. Can't get it to go. And here we go in the other direction, United South. Good defense, transition defense here by the Lady Panthers from Westlaco. That shot, the three-pointer, no good. Cantu with the rebound, and she's fouled behind by Evelyn Cruz. Great job, Lady Panthers. West Laco Lady Panthers boxing now. They're pretty much holding United South to one shot for every possession. New personnel now coming in here for United South. Three new people will check into the game for the Lady Panthers from United South. Not putting a lot of pressure here on the Lady Panthers. They're going to let them get set up in their half-court set. Benya now with it. Lopez, Lopez near midcourt. Now with it here is Cantu. Cantu will give it up to Sainz. Sainz with it, Sainz looking, surveying. Benya double team, gonna put it up. She'll take it inside the key, no good. Battling underneath, rebound here uh, by the United South. With the rebound there, that was Maya Perez. 2.40. In the first quarter. Oh, just uh, I was just gonna say, Carlos wants to go with a lot of good looks. Carlos, they just need to finish some of those possessions. Outside shot. They like the three pointers. Do United South, but they haven't. They've taken one so far in this game. There was an open shot opportunity there for Maya Pettis, but they'll work in the other direction to the right hand side. Now to the left, inside game, going up strong. Cantu hands straight up. Nothing doing there. Westlaco with the rebound up ahead. Signs with it. Signs to the right-hand side, top of the arc. Going to keep it. Reset the offense. Padilla now with it. Padilla looking. She'll go to the left. Floating. Good. Counted for Kirsten Padilla. The sophomore puts two points on the board. 6-2, Westlaco. What a fake, Carlos, to the left-hand side. She saw an open lane. Faked the right, went to the left. Shot off the glass. 149 remaining here in the first quarter. Low-scoring game so far. The Lady Panthers up by four, 6-2. Trying to feed it inside, looking for a foul, nothing called. Ball goes out of bounds to Westlaco. Yeah, it looks like um, number 15 there for uh, Laredo United, I believe that's her number there, was trying to uh, set up. Uh, she felt like she had a mismatch in the inside, but lost her balance. That would be Leslie, no, not I'm sorry, not Leslie, but uh, I'm sorry, number 15 there, Catherine Soto, was trying to uh, set uh, Kristen Padilla and lost her balance. Pena wide open lane, off the glass, countered, it's good, and the foul, she'll go to the line. And what I liked about that, Carlos, was how patient Bree was during that drive. She saw, she read the defense, drove in, they didn't know, uh, they tried to block it, got bumped, laid it off the glass, basket, basket counts, and the foul already with four points in this quarter. So here we go, Pena with a possible three-point play, and count that one, it's good for Bree Pena. Five points here in the first quarter. Nine to two, Westlaco 118 in the first quarter. Live on KOS Facebook channel at Roma High School, the area round championship from United, against uh, it's United South versus Westlaco High School. Both Lady Panther mascots. This one nearly stolen away. Benya got it, she's 
hit from behind, goes down to the floor, and it's going to be a foul call here on Emily Sinfuentes. Fourth team foul on Laredo United South. We got one minute left here in the first quarter. All right, now Fenya, after being fouled there, will handle the basketball for the Lady Panthers. Here's Padilla. Padilla's got to be confident after driving that baseline and scoring that bucket earlier in the quarter. Emily wide open to three. No, she's going to pass it to Cantu. Cantu thought she was going to go up and was already getting ready for the rebound. Just a little miscommunication there. Yeah, Cantu was getting ready to go up for that rebound in case Science missed, but just a little miscommunication. A great idea, but just a miscommunication. There is a feed inside and counted it's good. With that one is Emily Cifuentes. Two-pointer there, 9-4. to four. 25 seconds left here in the first quarter. Lady Panthers with a five-point lead. Both of the field goals by Laredo United South has come from inside, Carlos, the black area. Another wide open lane for Pena to the left-hand side. This time, can't get it to go in, no foul. United South working the other direction, quickly up the court. They'll feed it inside once again. Shot no good. Get the rebound, Cruz. Another opportunity stolen away by Cantu, and that'll do it. That's the end of the first quarter. Good hustle there by Aliyah Cantu. It's 9-4 to four Westlaco. As we move on to the second quarter, we'll go ahead and keep it right here. And a big difference, Mike, between last year's game and this uh, year's game, and that the Lady Panthers are in the lead, and they seem to have a pretty good game plan that is working for them in this contest. And you know what I really like, Carlos, and I think Coach Fino there, I mean, I don't know if the fans saw her high-fiving all the players, is transition defense, I think, has been a big big uh, help for the Lady uh, Panthers, Westco Lady Panthers. Laredo United South looks like they want to get some fast break points going, but the Lady Panthers, Westco Lady Panthers doing a terrific job getting back on transition defense. And that last possession there, um, Laredo United South had a couple of opportunities in the paint area, just couldn't finish. And uh, Leia Cantu right there for the presence on defense, getting a rebound there and uh, time ran out on Laredo United South there. All right, after one quarter of play, it is uh, Brie Pena leading the Lady Panthers from Westlaco with five points, two points for Aliyah Cantu and uh, two points for Kirsten Padilla. That's the nine points right there for Westlaco High School. And you know what, Carlos, considering in, in the by-district round, Laredo United South scored, what, 80 points on La Jolla Juarez, I believe, at uh, four points after one, Westlaco has to feel pretty good. Yeah, their defense has been good in this contest. Might have to show up that inside game a little bit because it seems to be content on going inside. Does United South. They'll get the possession here to start the second quarter. Carlos Roberto along with Mike Gonzalez on K-West Live. Facebook, let your friends know we're watching the area round game here on K-West Facebook page. 9-4 to four to open up the second quarter. Shot is good. And that's Cruz with two points. Evelyn Cruz. The inside game that's been a Laredo United South uh, game up to this point. Um, it's only a matter of time before they start letting it go from threes. They apply a little, a little bit of pressure right there on Jada Lopez on the double team. He finds Padilla and that ball, ball bounces out of bounds. Nine to six, Westlaco with the lead. Padilla inbounds, and here's Lopez. Lopez working to the right-hand side, dribbling to Pena. Pena handling the ball now. Working it to Lopez in the corner, trying to feed it inside to Cantu, and that ball is knocked out of bounds. It'll be Panthers basketball. Lady Panthers from West Lakota. Jada Lopez was trying to find Alia Cantu in the inside. She was open for a second there, but uh, went off the, the foot of uh, number 30. Here we go, Pena with the ball. Pena, she'll go to the left-hand side, feeds it outside to Sainz. Sainz mishandles it. Now to Padilla, she's open, fakes the shot. Emily. Working it now to Pena, they'll work on the left-hand side. Now here's Lopez. Lopez out to Emily now. Science holding the ball. Good defense here by United South as they're trying to get the ball. The Lady Panthers are to Cantu. She hasn't been open, and Science just goes out of bounds and loses the ball, and it'll be a turnover. Yeah, I think Science uh, was trying to find uh, somebody inside, perhaps uh, Leah Cantu, and just lost. Uh, she was mishandling the ball there, went out of bounds. Lily getting on this. Feeding it, ball inside, can't handle it the inside game as we're trying to get it to uh, Berlanga, Carolina Berlanga, who's got some size on her on the inside. Here we go, Lopez, driving the baseline, back outside, nothing there. Now to Padilla, nearly stolen away. Benya about battling, 
And now she's got an opportunity here to find the open man. It's Sines. Sines with it. She can't find anything on the left-hand side. Now she'll work to the right. And here we go, Padilla. Padilla will slow things down just a little bit, looking for a screen from Cantu. And still handling the ball is Padilla. Good defense here by United South, really in the grill of the Lady Panthers. Benya looking for a screen. Bree, right hand, left hand, stripped away. And... Is trying to pass it over to Sines. It goes out of bounds, and it's United South basketball. It seemed to me, Carlos, whoever had the ball for Westlaco, they had some help. And, and even when they had to uh, rotate, they did a great job with that, and they were able to um, force a turnover there. Defense has really stepped up for United South. Here we go, Cruz with the ball, right-hand side. Padilla working her. And they'll work it to the middle of the court. Westlaco with only one team foul, Carlos, and we got 540 left in a second. Wonder if they'll be a little bit more aggressive there. Still trying to work the inside game. With it now here, Hernandez. Hernandez against Emily Sines. Hernandez back outside, trying to set up a three. Open. Shoot. No good. Too strong. Peña with it as that shot was taken there by Stephanie Galindo. Ball will, uh, United South retains possession. Westlaco got what they wanted. They got a miss basket, just couldn't come up with the rebound there. So Laredo United South with another opportunity here. 524 in the second quarter, 9-6. to six. Westlaco with a lead. Corner. And they're going to call a foul here. It looks like it's going to be on Kirsten Padilla. Her first foul of the game. On Kirsten. Across the court, inside, knocked away by Emily Sines, right back to Berlanga, Caroline, and she gets the two points. It's now a one-point game. Westlaco with the lead, 9-8. to eight. Got a little bit of luck there. It went off a Panther defender there, and it went right into Berlanga's hands for an easy layup. Tough defense here by United South. They're going to call it traveling here on Brie Pena. Brie Pena kind of hesitated a little bit. Maybe she, she was better off shooting it, but felt like she saw Lane was going to maybe get a higher percentage shot there, but instead was called for a travel. Lady Panthers have not scored yet in the second quarter. It was 9-4 to four when we started it, the second period. It's now 9-8. to eight. Inbound pass, Lopez. Putting a little bit of pressure. It's going to be a foul on Jada Lopez. Intensity has picked up in this game tremendously. Like. 450 remaining here in the second quarter. 9-8 Westlaco. United South being a little bit more patient with their shot selection here in the second quarter. Cruz with it. Back outside. Still with it there. And that's Hernandez. Now to Cruz. They'll work the top. Still trying to feed the inside game. Looks like they're trying to get it to Berlanga. There's Berlanga, top of the arc, closely guarded by Aliyah Cantu. Good defense. Timeout's going to be called right in front of us as Guardiola, head coach. But they're going to call a foul first, Mike. Wow. Yeah, I know uh, Coach uh, Laredo United Salo was pleading for a timeout here, but I think they got a little break there with a foul. And the foul here is going to be called on Aliyah Cantu, her second foul of the game. 420 now, remaining in the second quarter, one point game. Westlaco by not by one. Cruz from the outside, count it. The three pointer is good for Evelyn Cruz. Five points in the quarter for her, and now United South with the lead for the first time in the game, 11 to nine. And they're on a nine nothing run, Carlos. That started late in the first quarter here. Nearly a turnover right there, but the foul. Is going to be called, and it's going to be on Cruz, number 30, her second foul of the game. We have a substitution, Carlos, number 15, in for the game, Catherine Soto. 355, 11 and 9, United South with the lead. Some size will come in here. That's uh, Myra Bettis for United South. Here we go, Lopez with the ball here. Pena looking, they'll work the ball around. And Lopez trying to take off the little great feed inside. Lopez finds Cantu, 
Lay-in is good. We're all tied at 11. Jada Lopez saw an open lane, took it, and then by the time the defense came to help, Aliyah come through wide open for an easy layup. All tied at 11, 326 in the second quarter. Air around matchup between the schools from Laredo and Westlaco. Westlaco sticking to their intense man-to-man -man defense. Let me come through doing a great job there. Galindo off the glass and counted. It's good for Stephanie Galindo. 13 to 11 up the court. Errant pass to Cantu, and it's a turnover. Now we're working in the other direction. That one stripped by Lopez. Another rebound here by United South. A third rebound, and that one is good for Galindo. Four points in the quarter for Stephanie Galindo. New personnel looking to check in for the Lady Panthers. 15 to 11, United South. This one nearly stolen, and Pena has it. Officials are letting them play. Signs with it, working inside, trying to draw a foul, nothing called. Good defense here by United South. Working the other direction, Galindo. Trying to find the open man in the corner, a three-pointer. Counted, it's good. Coming up with the points, Myra Perez with a three-pointer. It's now 18 to 11 with the United South with the lead. Only two points in the second quarter for the Lady Panthers. Since Aliyah Cantu's layup, Carlos, the Lady uh, Laredo United South has scored seven quick points to open up a seven-point lead. That's the game's biggest of the night. And uh, now the Lady Panthers of Laredo United South, their shooting has awakened here. Shooting from the outside, they got uh, one or two three-pointers, both in this quarter, Mike and uh, their defense has just been stifling. Right now, they're playing at about a level or two higher than Westlaco here, so they gotta meet that intensity here and make those, make those adjustments. Lady Panthers have seen defense like this in the, in the 32-6A, whether it's Harlingen or San Benito. They'll have to make some adjustments here and get some shooting from the outside. All right, here we go, 217 in the second quarter, 18 to 11. United South with the lead. Benya handling the ball here. Benya still with it. Back outside, Padilla. Padilla back to Benya, Padilla. This is Benya shooting the three-pointer, no good. Cantu can't get it, rebound. United South. And now Westlaco, Carlos, it feels like they're being held to only one, one attempt per possession. United South. Working here around the perimeter. Bettis hit that three-pointer earlier in the quarter. Fake three inside the arc, two-pointer. That one, no good. But underneath, Bettis is right there. Another re uh, The rebounds for United South are coming here, and there's going to be a foul here on Westlaco. Loretta United South, Carlos, just in, in great position to get those rebounds there. And it seems like the Westlake was just having a little bit hard time getting those rebounds they got in the first quarter. Shot from the outside, air ball no good for Pettis. Did a three-pointer earlier and it'll be Westlake ball. 121 left in the second of the first half, Carlos. Let's see if a Westlake can maybe get a few buckets here in the, in the half strong. Benya handling the ball. Crowd from United South yelling defense. Here's Benya inside left hand shot. Left hand side, right hand shot, no good. A little too tough. And the ball nicely there. Here's Galindo, now with it. Hernandez. Outside. Good defense by Padilla. With it now here is Myra Perez. They look to feed the ball inside. Inside the key shot, and that's going to be a foul on the side. No shot. And foul there was Lily Hernandez. And that's going to be Jada Lopez with a foul, her second one of the game. Lily made a nice move, Carlos. Nice fake to the inside and draw that foul. Three-point shot, no good. Rebound, Lopez. Lopez trying to push the ball up the court. Now she'll slow it down. Trying to find the open man. Baseline shot, no good. Cantu is right underneath there. She gets the rebound and scored two points. For Cantu, she's got the only four points in this quarter. They're both by Cantu underneath. It, it just feels like when the when Westlake goes in trouble, Carlos Elia Cantu is there. She makes those little things happen. Was in perfect position for the rebound and score. 
Underneath, good defense there. It's going to be a called foul on Leah Solis, but you got to like her hustle underneath there not to give up the easy basket. Exactly, Carlos. I mean, being that Lily Hernandez is going to go to the free throw line, she's going to have to earn those points versus getting that easy layup. So you got to give credit there to Leah Solis on that foul. Five-point lead here for United South. Now to the free throw line. No good. Missed for Stephanie Galindo. Galindo's got four points in this quarter. This is the first free throw. Here comes the second. And they're both no good. 13 seconds. Pena with it. 10 seconds. Pena gives it up to Padilla. Padilla shoots the three. Blocked. And now United South with four seconds. They're going to shoot it at the buzzer off the top of the backboard and no good. And that'll do it. It's a five-point lead here for United South. 18 to 13. Westlaco ISD now introducing All Day Pre-K. Bring your children to Westlaco ISD for a fun and engaging learning experience, helping to create lifelong learners. At Westlaco ISD All Day Pre-K, your kids become young scholars, taking part in leadership programs, learning about science and technology, introducing them to literacy so they love to read. Registration taking place now at Westlaco ISD, the right choice in that second quarter. That's right, Carlos. Uh, the Lady Panthers, since their 9-2 lead with 127 left in the first quarter, has been outscored 16-4. And so, yeah, let's see what kind of adjustments uh, Griselda Fino makes here in, against PSJ Memorial. It was Bree Pena that got going in that third quarter. She scored seven points after a quiet first half. Uh, Lady Panthers down by five points. They were down by 11 last year in that area round championship game against uh, United South. That game took place in South San Antonio. And uh, similar situation here, but only down by five points. Absolutely, Carlos. There's plenty of basketball left. The players have the experience. Um, and um, they should, they're OK. I mean, there's plenty of basketball left. Two quarters left. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you'll see a lot more picks. And to try to create some open space here for the Lady Panthers, as you see, just to get it started. Inside to a Cantu, off the glass, and good count it. The foul will go to the line. And that's, Cantu with a little pump fist after she scores the bucket. That's how you start a second half, Carlos. That's how you, you answer the bell right there. Lady Panthers in position to get, to get back within, what, two points with this make free throw. Great pass by Emily Sines there. Found the lane. and. Passed it inside there to Cantu. She's fouled from behind hard, and she scores. The foul, by the way, called. Uh, it's the second one on Lily Hernandez. Now 18-16. United South still with the lead. Defense. And they're going to call it traveling here. Turnover on Carla Serna. And it'll be Lady Panthers' ball, an opportunity to get right back into this game, only down by two. Well, let's go got what they wanted. Three-point play to start. Get some momentum going. Now they force Laredo United South with a turnover here. So, yes, the, the, the opportunity is there for you. Run the offense. Who's going to come through here? Let's nine, see. Nine points for Cantu early on in this uh, game. Three to the outside. Lopez will drive the baseline back outside in the hands of Peña. Peña right now to the left. Peña inside the key outside. Great ball movement here by Lady Panthers. Signs is fouled. She'll go to the line there. Bucket doesn't count, but you like you got to like the movement now here, the Lady Panthers, trying to create something with some picks and ball movement. Perhaps that's the adjustment Coach Finos make is to attack the basket, attack the basket, draw some fouls. They've only sh they only shot one free throw, Carlos, in that first half. Now they're about to shoot their second and third at this half, less than a minute into the into the third quarter. Signs, who had 14 points last year, picks up her first point of the game here. A free throw. Second shot now coming, and it's good. Both free throws are good, and we're all tied at 18. The 7-12 mark of the third quarter. It only took 50 seconds, Carlos, to go from an 18-13 deficit to a tie game. Great way to start the third quarter. All right, with the ball now here. Outside, shooting the three-pointer. Air ball no good. Pena with the ball, working the other direction. Great pass to Signs. Signs, she's blocked, and they're going to call charging here against Emily.
The break started off well, Carlos. Bree Pena boxed her man, now got the rebound. Terrific bounce pass to Emily, Emily Science, but uh, Emily thought she uh, drew a foul. Instead, they called a charge on her. All right, here we go now, working the other direction, United South. Second possession of the second half for them. And really. you can see, Carlos, the intensity of the Lady Panthers, Westwick Lady Panthers on defense has picked up about two or three notches. Something they probably lacked there in that second quarter. Another quick foul here called on signs. I don't even, I don't even know if that was a foul that was called on Emily or a travel, Mike, because it's still, still only so one. Scoreboard foul. was only showing what foul. Now one of the Laredo United South coaches came over and checked, and uh, it looks like it's only one foul. Okay, yes, the scoreboard does have her for two fouls, Carlos. All right, we got it now. Two fouls for Science here. Here's Lopez outside. Padilla inside the arc. Counted, it's good. Two-pointer there for the sophomore, Kirsten Padilla. And the Lady Panthers now with the lead, 20 to 18. And look at Coach Fino with her high-fiving her girls. They come out to play here in the second half. This is what I like, Carlos. Padilla had some great looks in that first half. Shot some air balls, and yet here in the third quarter, she gets a basketball, finds a lane, left-hand side, shoots, nothing but net. The coach is always preaching basketball. It just let it rip, keep shooting, keep shooting the basketball, eventually you'll start hitting, and Padilla with a big time bucket here. We talked about other players stepping up there, now Padilla has arrived. So far, no points on the other side for United South. It was, uh, what was it, a five point lead, 18-15. It was 18-13 at the half. I'm sorry, yes, <laughs> let, let me do some math again. 18-13 at the half, Right. and it's been all uh, Lady Panthers here in the second half. But we're still just getting started at uh, 6.05 in the third. And it just looks like to me, Carlos Loreto United South hasn't met the energy that Westlico has come up with here in the third quarter. And here we go. United South trying to create Lopez on the defensive side. But she gets through there. Galindo, who had four points in the first half, gets two here in the third. That was great defense, Carlos. Just a little bit better offense there. You gotta give credit there to Laredo United South for laying it up on the left-hand side. Tie game. Here we go, Signs driving the baseline. Feeds it inside to Cantu. Off the glass, a good count it for Aaliyah. Once again, Emily Signs finding Cantu on the block. It feels to me like in this game, that's been their bread and butter, Carlos. Cantu has been the go-to player. She's been open, 11 points for Aaliyah Cantu, the junior from West Laco High School. Feet inside, stolen by Pena. Here we go, Pena in the open court. She's got Padilla on one side, Emily in the other. And Emily is hacked a couple of times, nothing called, they'll move it up the court. And this one, foul called, and the bucket is good for Lily Hernandez. Unfortunate there for West Laco. Emily felt like she got fouled, and Laredo United South on that fast break just took it down the court there. And number 23 there, Lily Hernandez, with some big time buckets tonight. There with the bucket and the foul. Now we're all tied at 22 with an opportunity for Hernandez to take the lead from the free throw line. Great action here at Roma High School in this area round championship game. We're at 4.58 in the third quarter. Free throw pending and it's good. Now one point lead, 23-22, United South. And here and comes a little the pressure of, defense. A little bit of pressure being called, and Sainz will get right through that. She wanted the foul, Padilla. Great pass inside of Cantu. Can't handle it, ball goes out of bounds. It'll be United South ball. Coach Fino thought it was off Laredo United South there, but the official standing right there felt uh, Cantu touched it last. United South working the other direction. It's been a game of streaks in this contest, Mike. We already have a couple of ties here just in this third quarter alone. I feel like that's gonna be happening for the rest of the game. United South with a little bit of a run here. They're gonna call a foul here. And Off it's gonna be foul. on, yeah, it's gonna be called on number 15, Catherine Soto, her second foul of the game. The little things, Carlos, Kirsten Padilla there, great job on defense, caused that charge right there. Lady Panthers, what's the goal, Lady Panthers now with the ball back? Lopez. Science shooting the three-pointer, air ball, no good. Here we go in the other direction, 23-22. United South, 4-21 in the third. Put it up strong, blocked by Lopez. She'll get his own, her own rebound. Cruz, Lopez, now with it. Slows it down here, lets the offense set up. Does Jada Lopez. 
Smartly, smartly slows the game down a little bit. No need to force it. Force the, uh, set up the offense here. Four minutes in the third quarter. Here's Emily Sines. And the Lady Panthers offense is slowing down a little bit here. Now we go. Fenyon with the ball. We'll look to pick it up. Sines right around. Puts it up. Off the glass and good. Emily Sines. Another two points. She's got four here in the quarter. Lady Panthers from Westlaco with a one-point lead. Great job there going to the right side, faking her defender out, found the lane to the right-hand side, laid it up off the glass. Hernandez, way up top, out of the corner. Soto, great defense. Soto with it, shoots the three, and that was off the front of the rim, no good. They'll battle underneath. Lopez comes up with it. She's double-teamed. Now signs looking for the open man, and it's Pena. Three on two. Benya has it, feeds it inside, Aliyah Cantu. But they're going to call a charging before the pass against Brie Cantu, a Brie Benya. Well, the official called there, Carlos. Uh, Laredo United South positioned themselves there on defense. Brie Pena, I thought was going to shoot the basket in the very last second. Found a wide open Aliyah Cantu, but a charge. First foul of the game on Brie Pena. One point lead here for the Lady Panthers, 24-23. We're at 2.56 here in the third. Crowd making some noise now here in this closely contested contest. Shot no good, here goes Pena. The far court to Cantu. Cantu has it, looking for some help. She'll give it up to Brie Pena. Pena to Lopez, and that's a turnover. It's going to be United South basketball. Je uh, Brie Pena thought Jada Lopez was going to be a little bit closer here on the wing area, but instead Jada Lopez was kind of more closer to the scoreboard area, and uh, yeah, turnover. 24-23, new personnel looking to check in for United South. Shot from the baseline, off the mark and no good. Offensive foul. Yes, offensive foul is going to be called here on United South, and count this one against uh, Carla Serna, number 12. That's just Emily Science say, well, you know what? The officials are calling a lot of charges. I'm going to set myself up for a charge and just a wonderful job. It looks like we have some substitutions for Laredo, Laredo United South. 2.23 here left in the third quarter. Lady Panthers, 24-23. Stand with it, looking for a screen. She gets it from Cantu, looking for another screen from Lopez. Still with it now, gives it up to Padilla. And a whistle is called. I'm not sure what's going to be called here. A wet spot perhaps on the floor. Officials asking for a, a towel or something. Uh, I think they're saying something on the shorts of Pena. And she's got blood on the side of her shorts. And they're going to ask her to uh, clean that off. And they're quickly getting to it right now. And having to check into the game here will be Leah Solis as they tend to Brie Pena. She's got some blood on her shorts. It looks like she's just going to go to the locker room and change into another pair. So with 2.08, the best player for the Lady Panthers has to get out of the game. Padilla wide open underneath, but I think it was a little late trying to get it to her. They're going to say she stepped out of the line on the line. On the baseline, it'll be a turnover, United South ball. Immediately, Westlaco feeling the loss of Brie Pena as we see her come right back out of the locker room. That was quick. All right, so here we go. United South. With 151 left here in the third quarter. Still a one-point lead here for the Panthers. Been saying that for the past, seems like forever. It's been a close game here in the second half. Evelyn Cruz now with the ball. She'll put it up strong, and it falls in. Evelyn Cruz, she's now has seven points in the game. Her first bucket of the second half. And I have that, Carlos, as a fourth lead change of this quarter alone. Padilla with the ball. Here's Sines with it. Sines looking. Sines puts it up strong off the glass. A little too hard. Cantu battling underneath. Rebound, United South. And they're going to call here. Is this going to be against Emily? They're going to call a foul against her. And if this is going to go against Emily, this will be her third foul. And immediately, Brie Pena back in the game, it looks like, for uh, Leo Solis there. So Pena back in, signs with three fouls. She fouled out of last year's game, but still scored 14 points. And we're in a similar situation. She only has 
six points in this game. Here we go. Evelyn Cruz with it at the top of the arc. Trying to feed it to the corner. With it now, see point this. Good defense here by the Lady Panthers. 45 seconds remaining here in the quarter. Wide open three pointer. Little too strong, no good. Emily with the rebound. Signs has it, 35 seconds. Padilla, open shot, thought about it. And now you go to Emily, and yep, she's fouled. Foul's gonna be called here on Emily Sanfuentes. I was looking at Coach Fino right now, and she kind of has that thank you look, thank you. They've been pleading throughout the quarter for some of those fouls, and they finally get one here. Second foul of the game on Emily Sanfuentes. 30 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. One point lead here for South. Ball thrown in a direction they're gonna say was kicked. And it'll be Westlake Copal. Perhaps a break there, Carlos, because Laredo United South had two, had two players that are getting ready for an easy layup there, but a kick ball, Westlake basketball. 25 seconds, Science thinking about the three, trying to draw a foul, and she does. Good job there by Emily to draw the foul. It'll be on the side. The foul is going to be called here on, looks like Myra Pettis. Second Don't, foul of the game on her. The way this game is unfolding, Carlos, perhaps they may come down to free throws. Laredo United South with 16 fouls, Westlake with five. All right, Jetta Lopez inbounded to Emily Sines. 19 seconds left here. Here's Pena. Emily, double team. Emily going around Cruz. Emily still with it. Here's Lopez. Padilla. Double team, and she's going to be fouled. The defense here, once again, very good for United South. And going to the line here will be Padilla. Bonus time for Westlaco. Exactly. This is only the fifth free throw attempt of the night. However, four of them have come in this quarter. Kirsten can't hit the front end of a one-on-one. -on -one. Four seconds. United South with it, two seconds. Shot at the buzzer, no good. And that'll do it. That'll be the end of the third quarter. It's a one-point lead here for United South, 25 to 24. Westlaco ISD now introducing all-day pre-K. Bring your children to Westlaco ISD for a fun and engaging learning experience, helping to create lifelong learners. At Westlaco ISD all-day pre-K, your kids become young scholars, taking part in leadership programs, learning about science and technology, introducing them to literacy so they love to read. Registration taking place now at Westlaco ISD, the right choice. All right, so here we go. Galindo, Stephanie handling the ball. And they're gonna say she double, double dribbled. dribbled right there. She hesitated. I know she looked in one direction, but that was enough for the official to call a double dribble. And Jada Lopez was just playing solid defense there. There was no pressure, no nothing, but just enough to distract her to force that turnover. Lady Panthers came out of the top of the uh, second half, the third quarter, played some great offense. Let's see what they do here. Signs playing way back here. No, uh, not a lot of ball movement here for the Panthers. And Lopez, she'll penetrate, goes through the teeth of the defense, off the glass, and she gets the roll. Good for Jada Lopez. Jada. One point lead here for Westlaco, 26-25. Jada Lopez, solid lane once again, stepping up in the fourth quarter in last year's game. Great start to this fourth quarter this year. Galindo handling the ball here for United South. Galindo looking for a screen. She gets it. With it now, Lily Hernandez, top of the arc, closely guarded. Emily Sines, Cruz with it. She'll take it in. She'll feed it inside, wide open give to Carolina Betalanga. Six lead change, Co uh, Carlos, in this half. What a remarkable game. Uh, just the, there was a double team there, found the open man for an easy layup. One point lead here for United South, 27 26. 640. Till the end of the game, we're in the fourth quarter, folks. Signs will put it up there, looking to draw a foul, nothing called. Rebound, United South. Coming up, Galindo, out to the corner. Nearly stolen away by Cantu. 
They'll go to the top to Cruz, now to Galindo. Back to Cruz, Cruz way out near midcourt, trying to create some lanes here for United South. Good defense here by the Lady Panthers from Westlaco. Cannot fall asleep, Carlos. This is where United South can hurt you with their three-point shooting. Here we go now. Still very patient now, United South. Trying to feed inside to Cruz, knocked away by Emily Sines. Rebound, Cantu, and here we go, Lady Panthers from Westlaco. Down by one. Sines. And they're going to call a blocking foul, and Emily Sines will go to the line. <laughs> I tell you what, Carlos, what a what great defense Emily Sines did on the other side of the ball here. They were trying to front her, and Laredo United South was trying to exploit that, and then good help there by Leah Cantu getting that steal and starting that fast break. All right, points at our premium right here for the Lady Panthers from Westlaco. Sines, she was two for two. She missed that one. She's now two for three. The Westlaco hit their first four free throws of the game and now have missed their last two. Emily's second free throw. It's going to be no good. But rebound, Benya keeps it alive. The right to the United South. Emily Sines missed both those free throws that would have given Lady Panthers from Westlaco the lead. Still 27-26, United South. Berlanga with it. Working against Padilla. Serna. Serna back, oh, goes inside. Nearly a travel right there. Now here's Cruz with it. Shooting the long three-pointer. Looks good, and it is. Lily Hernandez with the money shot right there here in the fourth quarter. Now a four-point lead for United South. Alia Cantu perhaps gave her a little bit too much room there. Hit that three-pointer. Cantu underneath. Can't get it to go. Battling for the rebound. Alia. Peña with it. Trying to pass it to Cantu. Ball on the ground. Signs with it. Now to Padilla. Trying to find Peña. Peña without her goggles on. Puts it up strong. And now here's Cruz going in the other direction. Four-point lead. A man down for United South. And they're going to have to call a timeout because Lily Hernandez went down hard and she hasn't gotten up for United South. So an official timeout called on the court as they tend to Lily Hernandez here with 447 left in the game. Everybody diving for the basketball, Carlos. Both teams really getting after it. Emily Science there keeping that possession alive there. And uh, as you mentioned, Brie Pena without her goggles going to the left side just couldn't couldn't finish, and that's a good sign right there, seeing Lily Hernandez get up there. We hope she's okay. Yep, she is holding her arm as she goes down hard. She just knocked down a three-pointer on the other end to give the United South Lady Panthers a four-point lead, 30 to 26. The 447 left. Lady Panthers in the bonus for the rest of the game. All right, so it'll be Westlaco ball after Hernandez comes out of the game. And they're actually going to say it's United South ball. And I think that's the correct call. All right, here we go, 446 left in the game. Westlaco stick into their intense man defense. As mentioned, they got to make sure to have a hand on their face, United South. He's going to keep shooting those jumpers, those three-pointers. Feed inside, the foul call, and the count the bucket for Myra Perez. Coming up with some clutch shots right now here is United South. That was a great look inside. Myra Perez will go to the line here for the possible three-point play. She's got a three-pointer and this bucket for five points in the contest. Got make the it, friendly row there. Make it six after the free throw. 33-26. Lady Panthers from Westlaco need some points. United South making some noise now. 419 left in the game. Foul called. And going to the free throw line here will be Brie Benya to shoot a one and one after the foul here is called on Carla Serna. Westlaco has missed its last three free throws. They got to make these count. 33-26, 4-16. First free throw is good for Brie Pena. That's her first points in the second half for Brie, Mike. She yeah, had she five got... points in the first half. 
Their first points come with 4.16 in the fourth quarter. Two big free throws here, though. 33-28. United South still with the lead. 4.12 left in the game. Just like in the first quarter, they got to hold United South to one and done. Daniel applying the defense. Cruz way outside, bringing Cantu out there. Trying to work the advantage inside, looking for a mismatch. Trying to use the height advantage is United South. Serna with it. Serna working against Pena. Serna nearly carried right there. Maybe she did. Shot off the baseline, no good. Badia battling underneath, and it's rebounded by United South. Another close call right there for double dribble, nothing called. 3.36 now left in the game. Ira Pettis with it. 3.29 left in the contest. Cruz bringing Cantu way outside. Here's Cruz working against Cantu. And now they'll slow down the game here is United South. Yeah, they're eating some clock up here, Carlos. They're just letting, they're just uh, cutting through the lanes here and finding the open back door there. Shot from inside the key. Knocked out of bounds by Cantu. Some ball handling here by United South with a five-point lead. They worked some clock there. Lady Westlaco, Lady Panthers get, got every, everything what they wanted, just couldn't get that rebound. 3.09 remaining in the game. The clock continues to roll. Balling underneath. And Lopez going down hard there is Myra Perez. Lopez knocked that ball out of bounds. Terrific defense. Jada Lopez having a great night defensively. Inbound pass. Cruz looking. Serna with it. Content to slow the game down here now. United South. Under Co three minutes now, 257. Coach Fino instructing her team to just come up. Just come up, put a hand in their face. There's Galindo with it. Now Cruz trying to feed it inside, pass inside, and good defense. Or, I'm sorry, good pass inside. And score the bucket there for Berlanga. On the other end, turnover. United South will get the ball with a seven-point lead, 2.30 left in the game. 35-28. The one. Now, now the Lady Panthers will come up here, apply a little bit more pressure on United South. Looking for a turnover. Open man, thinking about the three. She'll take it herself. And left hand laying no good. Rebound, Pena. Panthers need some points here. Here's Padilla. Baseline. Off the glass, won't go. Rebound United South. And a timeout called. United South coach Guardiola wants a timeout with 2.03 left in the game. It's a seven point lead here for United South, 35-28. That was just a tough break for Kirsten Padilla. She did everything correct. She uh, found the lane, dribbled right in, found the glass, and the ball just went halfway in and right back out there. Tough, tough break there. The Lady Panthers, and when we come out of this break, it's going to be uh, United South with the possession. And a seven point lead here. This is where you know, Coach Fino is going to have to try to get some intensity out of her players. Because if they come up the court once again, they're going to be content. We're at what, two minutes left in the game. They're going to be content to run some clock with a seven point lead. I mean, that's something they've pretty much done since basically halfway through the fourth quarter was chew up some of that clock. And so the Lady Panthers are going to need to uh, rotate, be there on defense, put a, put a man, put a hand on their face, and uh, if need be, go for the ball. Sometimes you'll get that steal that you want, or they may call a foul. But uh, you got to do anything you can to keep this game going. Carolina Berlanga for United South has four points in this quarter. She's the big girl working the inside, uh, worrying number 11 for United South. 2.03 officially left in this area round championship game. Seven point lead here for United South. Lady Panther is going to do a full court press here on United South. Signs nearly stole that one away. And United South with it. Get the ball on the best ball handler, Galindo. Stephanie Galindo doesn't want to take a shot now. 151 left in the game. And Lopez just trying to foul her there to stop the clock. And are we in the bonus? No, we're not. Yes, we are. Bonus time here. One-on-one -on -one situation here. 
for United South as Galindo will go to the line. Stephanie Galindo, she uh, missed two free throws earlier in this game in the second quarter. She's 0 for 2 from the line. And as a team, Loretta United South has only attempted four for the night. So the Lady Panthers of Westaco has done a good job keeping them off the free throw line. That one no good. Knocked away on the floor. It'll be United South with another possession. Feed inside. Stolen by Cantu. Here we go now. Padilla, Kirsten with the ball. 137 left in the game. Panthers need some points out of this possession. Emily signs with it. Emily looking for a lane. Going to pass one-handed to Padilla. Now here's Bree Peña with it. Looking for a clear out. Peña with it. Peña puts it up. Off the rim, no good. Cantu puts it up. Still no good. 118. Two shots there for the Lady Panthers from Westlaco, and they couldn't go. 113 left in the game. Seven-point lead, and a foul has to be called here, Padilla. And going to the line, it will be Myra Perez with a seven-point lead. 109 left in the contest. Bree had a good look in the inside to uh, that perimeter shot, just couldn't bring it in. I think they took a little too long to for that play to develop, but uh, they didn't they didn't score any points here. Rebound Pena as United South cold from the line here late in the game. 105. Sirens going to take it up. Strong. Count it. It's good. A five point lead here with 59 seconds left in the game. Well, they got a foul though, Carlos. 35 30. Up the court. Got to go for that ball. Going to try to get a foul. And shot no good. Pena. Rebound Cantu. 46 seconds left in the game. Bahia with it. Padilla looking. Padilla is going to take it off her foot and it'll go out of bounds. 39 seconds left in the game. Timeout called here. Coach Fino, and they needed a quality possession right there with only uh, down by five, 39 seconds. But they're still in this game. No time to uh, be too disappointed right now with uh, 56 seconds, I'm sorry, 30 seconds or so left in the game, Mike. Yeah, another tough break there for Padilla. Padilla looked like she found a, no a lane again. It, was, it looked like she was going to have another easy opportunity shot off the glass there, but the ball went off her foot there. So regardless, it's still a five-point lead. They got to play a tough man defense, go for the steal. If they can't get it, you got to foul immediately. Yeah, they'll immediately, immediately try to foul, Mike. And Cole from the line now, the past three free throws for United South, they've missed them. Yeah. And so perhaps they're a little worn down, maybe a little bit tired. And so, they, however, Carlos, Lady Panthers of Westlaco need to box their man out and get that rebound. Laredo United South has gone second and third opportunities in this quarter, and that's also been key in this fourth quarter in allowing them to chew up some clock. 39 seconds left in the game. Both teams in the bonus. Inbound. With it now here is uh, Pettis. It's Pettis for the still ball. with it. 33 seconds left in the game. It's trying for the steal is Sainz. Got to go for now the ball. Now with it, Galino, the best ball handler. And getting it. Going to put it up, and she's fouled. And going to the line here, this is Emily Cienfuentes, who took it up strong there with 22.8 seconds left in the game. Cienfuentes with only two points in the game. Big free throws here, Carlos. 22.8 seconds left in the contest. Free throw, no good. We're in double bonus territory here. So Cifuentes will shoot another one. Five point lead, Lady Panthers. And they won't have to worry about blocking out here if it's a miss. They're getting the ball, because everybody is back for United South. Six point lead, two possession game here. 22.8 seconds, Brie Pena, the best Ball player on the court here for the Westlaco. That's two three-pointers. Somebody get open, shoot a three right there. Padilla has it. Back to Pena. She'll shoot a three-pointer. No good. Battling underneath. Eight seconds left in the game. Cruz with it. Six seconds left in the game. It's going to be a six-point lead with only 3.7 seconds. And it's not looking good for the Lady Panthers now. A two-possession game with 3.7 seconds. The free throw wouldn't go down for Brie Pena. Brie Pena had a terrific look there, Carlos. You couldn't ask for more. She uh, makes that. It's only a three-point three point deficit, but unfortunately she missed. And it looks like Jada Lopez uh, fouled out, Carlos. Jada Lopez out of the game coming in now will be Leah Solis. 
So to the line here will be Cruz. Evelyn Cruz, free throw is good. Seven point lead, 37 to 30. 3.7 seconds, that's gonna do it, Mike. That's gonna do it for Wasnico there. Makes them both as Cruz signs with the ball. Final in this one, 38 to 30, as United South comes up with a victory as it is a disappointing loss for the Lady Panthers. Final game for the seniors, for Bree Benya, for Emily Sines, two starters for the Lady Panthers. They will move on. And uh, United South, they were the 29 6A champions out of the Laredo District, and they come up with a victory. And we want to thank Carlos, the seniors, for putting together a, a wonderful season and uh, winning another district championship, winning a bi-district championship. The tradition is still alive, Carlos, regardless. Winning 30-plus games once again. And um, Emily Sainz, Bree Pena, what a one-two punch they've been for Wasico High School these last three years. All right, so the seniors, this is their final game. And we're talking about Emily Sainz. And of course, you talked about Bree Pena, but also you have some other seniors uh, Leah Solis, Leslie Garza, and Nikki Garza as well, and Amber DeLuna. All right, that'll do it for Mike Gonzalez. A disappointing loss for the Lady Panthers in the second round. Final score, United South 38, Westlaco High School 30. For everybody at K-West, we got Vinny on the camera tonight. Vinny Davis. Also, we got, uh, who else was out there? Darlene Gracia. Darlene Gracia is also here, and also uh, Don Ramirez and Mike Gonzalez as well. I'm Carlos Robledo. We'll see you guys next time on K West. <laughs>